Now, if you're going to replace the fuel pump, you have to replace the fuel filter anyway. So this is really your first step. And hey, it may just solve your problem. With the new fuel filter in place, the next step is to check the fuel pressure. This particular vehicle, it says it should be between 55 and 62 PSI. So having an assistant turn the key on right now, we'll be able to check the pressure. Well, we can see that the pressure is a little bit low. It's only at 41 PSI. So, uh, you know, fuel pressure is in direct proportion to voltage. So to finish our diagnostics, we'll check to see how much power we've got there at the pump and also check for ground. But the idea is to unplug the connector from the fuel pump and then using a voltmeter, we can make our checks. We'll do the ground first. Always do your ground side checks with reference to the battery negative terminal. In other words, connect your voltmeter between the ground point that you're checking and the battery negative terminal. And since the leads on your voltmeter probably aren't long enough to go from the battery to the back of the vehicle, you can use a jumper cable as a jumper wire. In other words, connect the negative jumper cable to the negative battery terminal, but not the positive one. Just clip that out of the way. And now we can connect our negative voltmeter lead to the other end of the jumper wire, and we'll have a good ground path to do those checks with. And then turn your voltmeter on to the lowest range you have. Now I'll take my positive voltmeter lead and connect it to the black wire, which is the ground wire for this fuel pump, and we should have a number of less than 0.04. And here we see that we have a very, very low number. The next step is to check the power, and to do that we're going to connect our voltmeter to the 20 volt scale, and then using a the wiring diagram in the Haynes manual, find out which is the power wire for your pump, in this case it's the gray wire, and then we'll have an assistant turn the key on, and there we are, 12.1. We should be within about a half a volt of battery voltage. And we do. So what this means is that we have enough power and have a good ground. Now we know we need a new fuel pump. Some late model GM vehicles are experiencing fuel pump problems that will either cause the vehicle not to run at all or just run intermittently. And this is because of a problem in the electrical connector. It seems that the pins are very small and because of vibration they move around in there and they get hot. And this actually causes the plastic to melt in the connector as you can see here. And this results in a loose connection and therefore the pump either doesn't run or it's intermittent. 